Well, Tan, thanks for that great introduction. They say that you're lucky, very lucky, and very blessed over the course of your entire life if you make four true friends. And today I feel very lucky and very blessed because, Tan, you are one of those dear friends to me. Now, what is even more difficult than finding a few friends to surround yourself with is to find that one true friend and soulmate you want. And for that, you both, both of you are extremely very lucky tonight. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Michael Aladawi, and I've known Tan more than anyone here for 22 years, other than his mom, of course. <laughs> and <laughs> um, I met Tan 22 years ago in high school after his family moved to the United States for just a few weeks. We were randomly brought together by Murphy's Law, but we're held together by the law of friendship. What I'm really trying to say is I know Tan really well. We're very close. Maybe too close. We talk to each other pretty much every day, sometimes several hours a day. So over the past 22 years, you can say I've kind of seen Tan grow up right in front of my eyes. You've overcome so much, you've accomplished so much, and I'm proud of you. But tonight, you have also achieved your biggest accomplishment, which is finding your true friend and soulmate. This is probably the single most important decision that a man has to make in his life. And you have done well, my friend. And yes, it's taken you 35 years, but it's worth the wait. So I am both humbled and proud to be here today to celebrate with you your biggest accomplishment. So here I stand as the man who is about to get married himself. I, I thought it would be appropriate for me to recite a poem just giving you both a little relationship advice. <laughs> Make every day feel like the first. Make every kiss feel like the last. Never choose only date night to tell her that you think she's beautiful. Never fight while driving. Never fight before going to bed. Never forget the dreams she will eagerly tell you as soon as you wake up. It makes no sense. But they're a beautiful reminder that you aren't alone last night. Never choose your job over her bed as a place to spend in the wee hours of the night. And in the morning when her hair is more tangled to the Dallas Cowboys offense and her breath smells like two week old Panda Express taking up room in your refrigerator, remember, she will not always be pretty, but thank God she has always been and will always be beautiful. <laughs> Embrace her always. Let your arms be the cradle that catch her when she falls. And always remember, her emotions will always supersede your need to make sense. <laughs> Ask permission before spending money. Ask permission before going out. Asking permission is not a sign of weakness, my friend. It is a sign of respect. And respect is fragile, and so is trust. Be careful of breaking either one. Do all you can to keep them intact. Don't make promises you don't intend to keep, but if you feel you've dug yourself into a hole, tell her quickly and humbly ask for her forgiveness. Stephanie, be genuine, be truthful. Love his loud, dramatic, competitive friends. I think by now you understand that love is not a straight line him, but is a circle that encompasses him and all those, all those that are closest to his heart. Learn which battles are worth fighting and which you just have to let slide. No matter the argument, Stephanie, you're a woman. I'm confident that you will never lose. <laughs> Except that you'll always, have, you'll always have your differences. 
different opinions, different points of views, differences in the way each of you handle situations. Differences are what make us all unique. Pray together. Nothing will bring you closer together than God. Not having God in the center of your life is like putting a seesaw on the floor without a rock in the middle to balance both sides. And like a seesaw, let God take you through your ups and downs. But as long as you stay on board, it will make for a much more interesting ride. Love with every breath. Inhale, with, inhale each other's presence into your lungs. And exhale gratitude in the form of love poems. Be the example. Be the pillar standing tall in a broken world. In a broken world that has become oblivious to the one simple call, just love. With every heartbeat, let your veins pump life into every inch of your soul that you may love with nothing less than everything. Let your love be the light that takes you through the dark. And when all else fails, love be the And Stephanie, always, always do the dishes. Thank <laughs> you.